Now that we've created a few invoices and bills, I want to show you some tools that Wave Accounting has made available to help you track your accrual transactions better. Now, all of these tools I'm going to talk about today can be found on the dashboard page. You can get to the dashboard page by clicking on the dashboard button in the menu here on the upper left. Now, if you're not familiar with the term dashboard, a dashboard in accounting software is very similar to a dashboard in a car. If you think about a dashboard in a car, it has dials, gauges, and information simplified to give you key points that are important to understand about the health of your car. Same thing goes with accounting software. This has simplified graphs, charts, and tables that help you quickly analyze the health of different aspects of your company through your accounting software. So let's take a look at just a few of these tools that I find really useful, uh, particularly as it pertains to invoices and bills. The first one I want to show you is in the recent activity section here, the overdue invoices and bills. So this section shows you, as the name implies, any of your bills or invoices that are beyond the due date. So in this case, we have three invoices that are beyond the due date and also three bills that are beyond the due date. And you can see that the names of the vendors and customers are highlighted in blue. Anything highlighted in blue means that it's a clickable hyperlink and will take you directly to that transaction. So maybe I'm curious about this 152.15 uh, invoice from Doe Enterprises. I can come in and click Doe Enterprises name and it takes me straight to the invoice. And then I can review that invoice and decide what I want to do with it. Also, if I come back to the dashboard here, you can see that there's an additional hyperlink that says send a reminder. If you click on send a reminder, it will send an email of that invoice to the customer again, reminding them that that's still outstanding and they have a payment that needs to be made on it. So very quickly, I can review what things I have outstanding and send reminders out to my customers right from this home screen uh, to make sure that I'm getting more timely uh, invoice payments. The other section that I really like to use here in the dashboard is the payable and owing section down here below your income and expense graph. I like this particular tool because it takes everything that's owed to me or everything that I owe and breaks it out not only by a total amount or transaction by transaction, but by how many days is overdue. So our first category here says coming due. That's anything that isn't due yet. So invoices that I've sent to customers, but they don't owe me yet. Then we have ones that are a day to 30 days beyond the due date, 31 to 60 days, 61 to 90 and 90 or more. So not only can I tell what's outstanding, but now I can tell how far outstanding it is. The downside is you can't see the individual customer or individual vendor names from here. If you want to see that, you'll need to drill into a report by clicking on the hyperlink. Now, unfortunately, in this particular tool, coming due is the only line that has an active hyperlink. That gets a little confusing. So if you want to view your over 90 days due, I can't click on over 90 days due and go anywhere. It just highlights the text. If I want to see that, I need to click on coming due up above and it will actually take me to a report that will show me the breakout by vendor or if I'm in the receivable section by customer of my different aging buckets. Now, because this is a report, once I get to this level, it's no longer clickable. I don't have hyperlinks here. So if I want to drill into, let's say, this 6521 that's over 90 days due, I can't just click on it and go straight to the transaction like I could in the dashboard. I would actually have to come back to the dashboard now that I know that this is miscellaneous vendor, find the transaction here in the overdue invoices and bills, and drill into it from there. Alternatively, I could just go to the bill page or the invoice page and look for it there as well. So couple different options for you, but I feel like those two tools give me a lot of visibility into my invoices and bills, what's coming up due, what's already due, how that helps me analyze my cash flow and kind of plan for my cash flow. And also it's a really great 
tool to quickly jump into different transactions and to create actions against them like sending a reminder. So I really like the dashboard. I tend to use it quite a bit when I'm working with particularly invoices because I try to keep my bills paid fairly quickly. But uh, with invoices especially, this is, those are two very, very handy tools that I like to use. And hopefully they'll help you to manage your accrual transactions more efficiently in Wave Accounting. Thank you for watching the Bootstrapper's Guide to Wave Accounting. If you found this video useful, I encourage you to click the like button below, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and share this video with other entrepreneurs. Doing so will help us to continue creating more videos like this one for you and other Wave users here on the Accounting Lab.